Hey, very good Wednesday evening to you, everybody. Thanks for checking in with us here in the Pinpoint Weather Center for your Aguiland Carpet One. Look at that live eye camera. This is at about 6.30 at night. We cleared things out nicely today after some sleet, snow, and rain were reported across the Brazos Valley, and that helped temperatures bounce back a little bit. Mid-50s for our far western counties, 50 in Bryan and College Station, only just above the 30s in our eastern counties. And you can kind of see closer to home, there's still a little gray there. That's a cloud cover that moved out. Big little potent winter storm that dropped snow from Dallas to Waco down into the northern side of the Brazos Valley, now spreading its messiness all the way towards the southeastern side of the United States. Other thing that it will be doing, it's going to drag in some colder air. It's a lot colder up around Detroit, Minneapolis, Minot, North Dakota. That is another cold front that is slated to move to the Brazos Valley by the time you wake up. So overnight tonight, a little fog is possible. We'll have to watch that closely just because temperatures will be below freezing, which means you may have to run the uh, defroster in the morning as that kind of tries to stick to your windshield. Otherwise, down around freezing for most, maybe just above in our southern counties. Temperatures for tomorrow because of the cold front, even though we do have a little bit of sunshine mixed with clouds, only looks like it's going to top off in the 40s, but it will only feel like the upper 30s. You've got a north wind tomorrow, sustained 10 to 20, gusting to 25, and that should hold the temperature for most of us to the upper 40s, maybe the 50s down across our southern counties. Colder for your Friday as more cloud cover moves in. Those winds are a big part of your forecast for the next seven days, but they're shifting out of the south on Sunday. That means more moisture is moving in. Temperatures are back into the 70s, maybe even close. Ready for it? 80 degrees by the beginning of next week for some of us, but the rain chance will be there. Not a washout, but scattered each day until a cold front comes through. That's going to bring temperatures back down Tuesday night into Wednesday potentially. Lots to watch over the weekend. We'll continue to update you, of course. KBTX.com, Facebook, and Twitter, we've got you taken care of. Bundle up tonight. It will be a cold one out there, but the good news is nothing falling from the sky to make for tricky travels tomorrow morning.